Dan, cutting out the waste. Now, this is a really big topic that we're talking about here at White House Machine Tools, um, all about the brother machines, uh, comparing them to the BT, or comparing the BT30 to the BT40 technology, and how actually the BT30s are developing so quickly to be so, so capable um, and take away some of that market share, I guess, of BT40s. Now, one of the things that's important to that is obviously the development of product, the development of features, and the development of strategies. What's happening? What can you now do on these machines that maybe you couldn't do before? So simultaneously, uh, five-axis machining is something that you couldn't do, but you now can do on the fourth revision control, which is the D00, and that can be applied to um, most of the um, uh, series of machines, or the brother machines. Um, from that, then we've um, we've seen a, a, a big um, development plan on the. Uh, capabilities of the machines effectively now we can now do gear skiving and hobbing um, that's obviously quite a, an advance uh, well it's a big advantage to that market but it's actually it just shows you how capable the actual control is yeah i mean we, we, the control is one thing but the machines is you know themselves are evolving massively you know i would have come here maybe I don't know, seven, eight years ago, and you may have only had a, a, a few models, but if I look down the range now, we've got five axis mill turn, we've got horizontal machining centers, we've got larger verticals. So you're, you're, you're expanding the BT30 offering, I guess, into a, lot, a, a, a variety of, of machine disciplines and machine types. Well, that's it, yeah. So they've now got strengths in every um, aspect, essentially. Uh, but what that allows you to do is, if you were to just say be a subcon manufacturer, you've got a, a, a great portfolio to do just standard work. But when, if that standard work turned into a high production environment of multiple of the same component, you've, you've got that product behind you in the back end. Um, and you know it'll be able to just repeat constantly. Um, and, and the machine will help you grow as a uh, manufacturer. I guess that's a big part. I mean, you, your machines are being developed uh, in, in order to make people, people more productive. If you bought a BT40 machine, some might argue that you can do the same as what a BT40 can, but the BT40 won't be able to grow with your business in the same way your machine might. Is that a fair analysis? Is that what you guys would say? Well, yeah, yeah. So we, we see uh, customers that, like I say, the one-man band essentially expand quite quickly, um, and uh, and and that will help uh, grow. The D00 can allow them to uh, to grow. For instance, they can uh, they can attach an additional um, uh, rotary or tilt onto there, and then they can start using those um, those products. It's there to expand with. If you don't need it straight away, then that's fine. But you can expand with it. That's what's. And, and I said about the BT30 competing directly with the BT40. Yeah. Now, some would argue with that, and I'm only using that, I, I guess, as my point, because it's something that you guys have been trying to educate me about. For those that are maybe, um, you know, need reassuring, how do you finally make a BT30 machine, you know, as capable as a lot of BT40s? What have these machines got and have been developed to have? Well, we've just got to we've we, we've got to show the customer. We've got to have the opportunity to show the customers. Um, we've got the technology. The technology is is not our Achilles heel. Um, our uh, so I suppose our Achilles heel is the perception of BT40 is better than 30. It's not. We are growing that technology, and it is as capable as the 40s. 